Right. Yeah, so, I guess. We're back. Another session. We just ended the last one. Uh, Tales of Seal and Flame. We just told Okrin exactly what happened, and uh, yeah. Anyways, so Orion, as you guys Bye. leave the as you guys leave the island, what's your character doing for a month? I'm still trying to process everything you fucking told me. So the harpy incident would be happening this month. Yeah, if, if I was able to join in on that shit, I probably would have, but... Make a, make a persuasion check, I'll say. Come on, man, the net 20. I swear, if he gets a fucking nat 20. <laughs> that, that would be too funny. I doubt it. I'll give you advantage because of your size. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's uh, fly. God damn it. You have 10 team inspirations. Uh, you know what? Fuck it. I'll use one. Go ahead. Oh my god. Uh, take one. One more. What? One Is it one of yours? Yep. I want to even mine out to five. Not really even. That's odd mine out to five, but yeah. Oh, oh you know what I mean, you little goobble. You know what? Fuck you, you gain a Dean's inspiration. You bitch! Take another, roll with advantage. <laughs> he already is rolling with advantage. Oh, roll right. again. You no, eventually no, no, no. do- I'll say over the course <laughs> okay. of like a day or two, you manage to woo one of the harpies. Uh, make me a performance check if you don't mind. I'm missing all your proficiency same performance. And roll with advantage too because of your size. Work speed. Works do be big. I will say it is a uh, harpy with some ruddy red feathers. Uh, she has some white streaked hair, and she has a bodacious body. Twenty-two. Make me a con save, uh -huh. motherfucker. Bodacious Brady uh -oh. body. Go ahead and get another one of Yotas. <laughs> Come on, stop giving me advantage. Okay. Twenty-four. I will say your character numbers spends... are slowly going up. Your character spends two whole days fucking this bitch. Roll me two one two D one hundreds, please, oh, if you don't mind. Another thing, Okrin, uh, that we forgot to mention in its entirety, uh, Gesh rolled to see how many times his harpy uh, girlfriend would come visit him at night, I and he told rolled a him. perfect thirty. Oh, you did tell him? Yeah. Jesus yeah. Christ. Yeah. Every <laughs> single night. <laughs> you said, you said what am I rolling? Two D one hundreds. Two D one hundreds. Twenty-six so, and thirty-one. Twenty-six and thirty-one. All right, you are. You are. It seems this harpy is into you specifically because of your size. Um, and you do make a small connection with this harpy, and she does come back every so often after your first times of sex. And she's not with anybody else. It seems. Uh, she seems to be solely focused on you as her seed bearer. Hmm. Her name is. Let me come up with a fucking harpy name. Harsha. What? Harsha. H A R S H A. Harsha. You need to come up with at least two more for the harpy matriarch. No, no, no. Her name is Harsha the Harsha the Ruddy. Uh, she is a scout for the harpy group. Scouts out ships. She's one of the ones that found Teedle first. Um. One of the four. Yeah, one of the four. Uh, but she seems to be completely into you. And this is, seems to be her first time mating by what you saw during your mating se session. Uh, mm. And, uh, yeah. Uh, the rest of the month, she comes and visits you every so often, and you come and visit her, too. God damn it. Uh, so, the rest of the month, is there any big things or small things your character would be doing, specifically, besides the harpy? You know, a big thing and a small thing doing it, you know? Um... Man, this fan is saving me, man. The fan my mom gave me? Fuck. Do you have a mom? Because it's a god of a You don't? Mom. Does she have feet? I don't know. I don't look down there. What do, you, what do you mean you don't know? That's terrifying. It's just a giant mass of tendrils. She's an elder's deity. 
That's why Goblet is so evil. That's why I'm Eldritch to the Oval. <laughs> um. Let's see here. I don't know much else of what I could do beyond training some. You can Ryan's, train feats, Ryan. you can say, like, make some flavor for your character. You can try to roleplay with some people, create an NPC, like, have me fucking create an NPC, or do other things that you want to do uh, as you're on a boat for a month. Uh... Oh, yeah, and Thielen's hatching a golden dragon egg, that's right. But we won't talk God about that. Yeah, about that. <laughs> He's had that for a while in actual character, so don't worry about that. He didn't get that here randomly. Yeah. He just figured out what it was after eight months of fucking having it in his backpack. Um. Guess I can try to finish up tough. Alright. I'll say slamming that bird puss and like having those claws rake across your body quite a bit, you you get tough for free. Oh shit, okay. And I'll say roll just a constitution saving throw for me really quick. With advantage. Uh oh. Alright. It's gonna be a third egg. Oh, it is. I have, egg. like, an armada of children at my disposal. And so... you egg graces the world. 22. 22. I will say, because of your extreme regiment, we'll call it, uh, <laughs> and many injuries gained from it, uh, and sparring with Thielen and the other group. I will say you get a uh, tough, but its effects are doubled. Oh, fuck. So you fuck. get uh, double the HP from when you get it, so you would get... Uh, you normally get double, so you get quadruple, so it would be 12 times 4 for 48 HP this level. Oh and then each level after you get 4 HP. Damn. Jesus. That's fucking good. He's... Why, why is he always becoming the tank of the party? Why are you always fucking raising floating islands? <laughs> Motherfucker, you better say touche. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, can't, I, I can say this. <laughs> Anyways, Okra, as your character becomes a bit more tough, I'll say, fuck it. Roll me two more D100s. That 100, that 100, that 100. That 100. Yeah, that one. Like, uh, you know, I'm using Team of Inspiration because. Alright, B, you need to take our status, by the way. 1648. Okay. You're having a hard time conceiving a, uh, an egg with this harpy. And by the end of the month, she doesn't lay an egg that is fertilized, but she seems to still be with you. Uh, you've performed excellently and kind of for a harpy, which is strange. Most of the other harpies are based on like they want to breed, and if they're not breeding properly with the other person or getting pleasure from it, they are leaving the relationship. She seems to be more into you than just into your breeding, which is strange for a harpy. But you haven't huh. conceived a child with her yet. And you can see she's getting a little bit impatient, but she's still staying with you. Yeah, she, she's interested in you romantically. All the other bitches just wanted my egg. Exactly. That's why it's a bit different. Kind of hurts. Well, it hurts your cock, but yeah. <laughs> so, Okri, as that month yes. comes to an end, you watch the city fall from the sky... Orion. And you watch your friends get kicked off the boat for a second because they kind of insult the captain. And they fly over to the city and you watch from the deck as they climb aboard the top of the tower. And you're like, these idiots. As you see the city starting to sink a bit under the water. What's, what's, going, through, what's going through Orion's mind? As he sees like these people are just going towards the tower they're investigating a sinking city that just fell from the sky. What's going through his mind? Honestly, he's 
probably thinking these idiots are gonna get themselves killed. I just fucking met them. As you're thinking that, you like rub your temple and like close your eyes for a second because like, damn it, I'm gonna have to make new party members. And they're my brothers too. And you like suddenly your eyes, like your eyelids start to glow inside of them. And you're like, huh? And you look up and you watch the city start to rise from the water. <sighs> But and you look at the seen. city and you see at the very top where you saw your brothers go in uh, at the very top of the tower that exists in the center of the city you see a blue glow and you like focus harder and you can see your brothers are casting a spell on something up there and the city is floating as a result <laughs> you got to be kidding me I assume over the next week you join them on helping them with the city, correct? Yes, he would. Make an arcana check or an investigation check with advantage and a plus 10, I would say. If he gets a net 20. If he gets a fucking nat 20, I swear. <laughs> I, I swear to god, this would be... What? No, get an 18. Did Double nat 20. 18. 17. That's still good. That adds the 84, making it 110. <laughs> Out of three, that's over 30 average on both on all of you. Right? <laughs> Wait, you didn't add the plus 10 to that. I did. Oh. He's oh. Yeah. He wasn't kidding when he said he's not smart. Okay. <laughs> For everybody wondering, I was wondering why he rolled with the plus nine. Um, um, <laughs> Imagine if he would have gotten a plus twenty as well. I was like impressed for half a second, like, damn, his base uh, investigation is plus nine. His Same here. Crazy. So you rolled investigation or arcana, Ogren? It depends. It's the same. So we'll do. We'll do. You know, honestly, arcana. Let's do that. Let's go for it. You ask them what they need, and they seem to be like. There seems to be part of the spell that's not functioning because part of the city isn't alighting to the spell. And you go over to that part of the city and, like, you're like, what's going on here? And you can see most of that part of the city has, like, glowing runes in the cobbled stones and whatnot. And you see one section where there seems to be, like, a large, just, like, melted piece of stone that's been jammed into the fucking rocks. And it seems to be disrupting what magic circles there. You're like, hmm. You walk up and try to pull it out, you're like, it's not, it's not coming out, and you just, using your brutish orc strength, pull and <laughs> chuck it off the island. And then you suddenly see the circle <laughs> flare up, and the city comes to a, comes to a still. As the city is yes, now I proper. Have fire, go. go ahead. There we go. You just hear his harpy, like, get hit by the rock under you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you guys have 29 harpies. No, no, no! Oh, no, <laughs> nah, I'm no, fucking with you. There's no harpy that got uh, hit. But you do hear, like, a bat that. that was on the bottom of the island. <laughs> <laughs> nice shot! Nice like cock! Nice cock! Anyways, Touch and you eventually go back up to the top of the tower to ask if that fixed it. You get up to the top of the tower and you can see... Uh, your your uh, brother Tidal is finishing up the activation spell he has, uh, moving his hands around and casting more magic into this spell as it casts into the orb. You can see um, going around is Joseph as he's uh, like putting like uh, masseuse pinpoints on the body, like kind of like Kung Fu Panda, like doing the fucking uh, the stun code or whatever fucking Tai Lung does to the person where he just like touches their weak points against uh, Tidal, but he's doing it and putting his key in to allow. Uh, title to relax a bit more as he's doing this as you walk up to them orion oh my gosh i've never felt this good of a massage you hear put it all in put it all in oh Joseph. gosh oh we are <laughs> rearranged my gut i have got a smack him in the head <laughs> roll a concentration check joseph there was a joke there was a joke okay. don't okay okay <laughs> he just one shots me again Gives me more brain damage. (laughs) 
make it. Let's, let's find out if that happens. Come on, come on. I really don't. <laughs> I, my con is actually good enough that I think I'm healthier than Iotis uh, as Tidal Wave because because of how many harpies I fucked. Yeah. Hey, so you too. Oh, Orion. Uh, you like well, how we you like uh, what we've done with the place? As like most of the uh, like thrown around uh, debris has been mostly cleaned up. It's quite a lot cleaner. I cannot believe you bloody idiots! Honestly, what I can't the... believe we, we were able to complete this either. Yeah, th that was. God, this was literally the definition of dumb. I just realized if you play a monk to Vaxi, you could play Tai Lung <laughs> using yeah, Stunning Strike. <laughs> you son of a bitch. That's gonna be one I of my it. future characters. Okay. Continue, sorry. You gotta admit, it is impressive. It is, but really, you all got to be such idiots. You know what they say, idiocy and genius go hand in hand. No, they don't. Oh. Nobody says that. Oh, but our handiwork here speaks for itself, my brother. My brother. As, as, I, as I, like, overlook the, uh, some, the now non-sunken city, the floating city. With this, we hardly even need a ship to travel to the Angelic Islands. 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 Yeah, the but we'll stay floating if you stop doing your little thingy. My little thingy? You see him, like, pull his spell away and the island continues to float, but it doesn't move. It stops in place as the ship ah. begins to pass by it. Um, the activation uh, spell, by the way, allows you to designate how the island moves. You can have it keep moving, stop in place, or do something else. But uh, if you want it to follow a pattern, you have to know what pattern you want it to follow. Like, de designate a how... specific long longitude, latitude, that stuff. So you can just tell me, like, engine of Aliens and stuff like that. How fast can I make it go? It moves at the rates of a standard ship. So about five knots, I would say. Which would be five about... I'd say, I'd say, for better explanation there, it'd be about 20 miles per hour. Like, like if you're going through a residential zone in America. Dang. So it can cover pretty good distance, because it's a flying city, and it doesn't have to go over things and under things. Well, it does have to go over things, but um, it doesn't have to How? go around things and whatnot, usually. Uh, so it does, How? it can get, I, I'd say from Duras to the Aelins, how it would take four months on ship to do that. If you just go straight on a straight line, Pythagorean Theorem, just flying, it would probably take a month. Actually, no, because the ship go, goes faster, we have to calculate that in, but it has to go down, stop, down, 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 stop, down, stop, left. I would say it would take about two months. It would cut the travel in half, because you are cutting the travel in half. Yeah, but if you're not got our own island, how awesome is that? How high hey. can we bring it? Like, to cloud height? To, you don't know, like, you haven't tried. Up? You haven't tried. You know oh, it fell well. from cloud height, at least. Let, let's not try hey, that right now. Yes? No, no, it is much better. Something. Yes, Orion? You, you said that, uh... Gash's character was the one who meant- who explained how the spell should work, right? Yes, yes. Well, he gave- Let's he gave point. title ideas about, like, he gave him, like, wouldn't this work? And title was like, no, that wouldn't work, but... What if this instead? Because I, you're saying based off my sorceric ability, what if it was like this and I connected myself? And like, he gave title like he was acting as a rubber duck for title. Yeah. G Guess what? Pensley it... gave me an idea that was so idiotic it might just work. Yeah. Isn't that twice now that the uh, non spellcasters have figured shit out that the spellcaster couldn't? Well, yeah. Sometimes <laughs> you get blocked because you're like, I should know this. So you need someone or something to. Speak your ideas, yeah. or speak ideas to you, so that you can be like, "Oh, new information. Okay, let me process this now instead." Yeah, like one of uh, yeah, one so, of so it wasn't as it wasn't as direct of as yours uh, was. Yeah. Explain. 
Yeah, it, one of Tadal's character flaws is he looks re he looks uh, he looks over really simple solutions for really complicated ones. Yeah, all right. To run with it. Your yours was much better uh, because yours was direct. Like maybe you should do this instead. Hit uh, Gesh's was more like wrong ideas, but like on the right track, and that helped Tidal get on the right track. Yeah, because Tadal is like the, I need to I need to form the water itself into these shapes instead of making a container to form the water into the shape for it. Hmm. And then that would be like, like, uh, like if we use that as an aneurysm, it'd be, Gesh's character would be like, you know, I used to piss in jars, and then t Tidal's like, jars? Wait, what if I shaped it into a, what if I shaped it into an actual shape, like a container? Like, that that's kind of what happened. Instead of you going like, what if yeah. you made a container? It's more like, okay, from that idea, what if I did this? This caption yeah, already yeah. so much bullshit, and I love it. So, uh, from there... Continue to roleplay, or we could go ahead and do your last month of travel. <laughs> so, Simple. you just raised an entire fucking city. An island, yes. I mean, we what? haven't even gone through most of it. You uh, see the harpies are really... scouring through it for you at the moment. Yeah, okay. Uh, we've only really looked, uh, looked and made sure that it would stay afloat. We haven't we haven't actually gone we haven't actually seen any of the items it holds or any of the information or cultures it could have could have held. Either way, this is oh, a remarkable like, discovery. Yes. I'm more curious about the items. Uh, history history ain't but... much my thing. Yeah, like the you recall original... a weird turtle who was trying to like get you into history a while back, oh. Ryan, but you're like, nah, fuck that shit. Like the original uh, reason why Goblin, we out of character, I've already messaged V saying Okrin would have a fucking blast. I know. He actually did message me saying that. I know, I know. <laughs> like, originally... you know, I did know a turtle who would love this. Oh, a really? weird guy. Light him. Very weird guy. Maybe but if we yeah. find him one well, one of these days, uh, we'll, we, can, we can let him explore. He's probably a bit more well-versed in this kind of stuff than we are. I should say yeah, we're but... doing a pretty good job. Yeah, but funnily enough that you say that because the original reason why we came is to magical items. <laughs> we got a magical item, technically. A hell of a magical item called an entire island. <laughs> well, yeah, I'm pretty boy. sure the orb is considered a magical item. I will say uh, this, to complete the activation spell and keep it fully floating under your control from now on, you do need to give the island or the magic activation spell a name. A name. Uh, question. Is, does the orb have to stay on the island? Like, yes. in that specific spot? Okay. Yes. You could you could arrange it to be different, but you'd have to completely rewrite the enchantment over the entire island. Okay, okay. I'm going to poke the orb. The I orb. immediately stop him. Orion, you suffer 30 points of uh, force damage. <laughs> oh, what? Uh, don't touch the thing. Only me and Gesh can, and that's only because his energy was poured into me... Uh, via him. We're both it's kind of attuned Ryan, to Ryan, that item. sounds kind of gay. No homo. Um, We're both sort of attuned to the orb. That's why it does not hurt us when we use it. Alright, shouldn't that be enough? I'm not sure you can. But yeah, I, I wonder how, um, how Barnabas will react to us just having an entire island now. Oh, Barnabas is in for a treat. I'm gonna make so many brothels on this shit. Uh, <clears throat> I mean, <clears throat> bakeries, bakeries. Mm -hmm. He's gonna be in for what a treat, about? you know? Is it donuts? Uh, what? No, no, what? no, I heard what you said before. Why not make both? You know, Call it the Harpy's Hole and the Harpy's Hole. You know, that's actually a win-win for both us and the Harpies. Harpies every mating season has uh, free, free uh, seed bears. And we get the gold. We can call it... Yeah. I'm not saying that word. And as I look over towards the orb, I'm not giving it that uh, name, just in case. <laughs> I'm waiting for you to fuck up. <laughs> I, I, was, I, got, I was about to make a really bad harpy sex pun. Out of character, can you I just tell like... me what it was? Because I really want to know. <laughs> I, I... This is out of character. I, I, I promise you, I will not name the island that. Unless it's really funny. <laughs> it is really funny. And if it's really funny and I name it that, I will give you 20 DMs inspirations. 
Say it. Say it. I'll give nice each of you twenty inspirations. It's a win-win. It's a I'm win-win. not naming. I'm not naming this legendary underwater. I, I'm not even giving Goblin the chance to hear it. Even no, 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 no. I owe this. Please. They tell me. They tell twenty me damn inspirations. That's a lot, dude. That's insane. Tell, tell him. Either it does nothing, or we get twenty damn inspirations. There is no losing in this situation, dude. So stay it. Do it. You're amping it up more the more you don't say it. You're right. You know what? You're right. It's it wasn't even that good of a pun. Just say it. Just say it. Say it. It was was gonna be the harpies' heavenly holds. Actually, that's pretty fucking good. Roll me a d100. God damn it! I don't want. I don't want to go around on an eye on a massive magic island. That. It's so bad. You can need an eighty to one hundred. Okay. I got a two. Yeah, so you're fine. Eighty to one hundred would have named that, uh, but you're fine. You okay. don't get. You don't get any DMs inspirations, but it's not named that. That's actually a pretty good name. The hardest have to use the DMs inspiration to make him re-rolled. You could. Yes. Yes. I am not. Yes. Out of, you have to do it. Yeah, Goblin? Out of character, Barnabas has a, a spell called Barnabas's Bubble Bath. That's how he says so clean. Uh, and I'll, I guess he'll, he would have shown you guys it. But if he casts it in a, in a certain place long enough, it becomes permanent. So he can make a few bathhouses on it, too. Oh my god, Barnabas and... Dude! We, we make... We can, we Barnabas's make big breasted bathhouse is going to be one crazy fucking place to go. We make them one of the Not highest levels. Island. Oh yeah, of course. Well, Gotta Barnabas's call, big breast bird, bird house would be the would be the brothel. Barnabas's big breast oh, yeah. ba- bath house would be right next to it, and then Barnabas's big breasted bread would be right next to that. <laughs> yeah, and then, and, and, and then Barnabas's big bubble butt birdie. <laughs> bird, bird and that would be a pet store, <laughs> but it only store. sells harpies on leashes. <laughs> it's just a cake shop. Yeah. <laughs> okay, now we'll need to think long and hard for the name of this island and i don't want anyone making any jokes while near the orb you see appearing in your exactly. spell name your spell long and hard question mark <laughs> no do not name spell long and hard <laughs> <laughs> do not name the spell long and hard you get the feeling it does not name the spell long and hard um hmm. maybe you get the feeling you're naming the activation key for the island, and usually that would mean that it would be you would be like calling the island that activation key, and only your magical signatures or ones that you allow would be able to say that and control the island. But the island is usually the same name as the activation key or something as similar to it. But you can always say like this is the island of Bungholio, and you can also always say the activation code is like Dude, Abracadabra. What, what if we? What if we I have an idea. To... What if I we tried to... to name the island our father's name and anyone tried to speak it just immediately took psychic damage? No, 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 no only no, you no, guys I, take psychic damage out of character. Oh, damn it. Dear. Let's name it the Island of Steel, akin to our part, future party name, the Brotherhood of Steel. Yeah, but then I feel like we'd have a lot of work like yes. reinforcing what? the island to make it live up to its name. I was thinking we call it the Harpy Harem's Roost, but, you know. The Harpy's Rest? Harpy Harem's Roost. The Harpy Harem's Roost. Harpy's Rest of something else? Let me, let me look this up. Hold on. I'm almost I don't know. It Harpy's Harem Rest. Yeah, I, it might be, actually. Yeah. The fucking... Okay, I'm, Given I'm not you name some things, I wouldn't be surprised. Oh, it's Yu-Gi-Oh! Because Harpy's I... Feather Rest. <laughs> Harpy's Feather Rest? Are you sure? Not Harpy's Feather Duster? No, it's Harpy's Feather Rest. Harpy's Feather yeah. Rest. Yeah. I didn't realize that was a Yu Gi Oh thing. I don't play Yu Gi Oh. How I about. I didn't either. I only know the Feather Duster. How about the Harpy's Heavenly. Harpy's, Harpy's Heavenly. Let's not name it after the Harpy's so they don't take it from us. Well, they're already going to fucking live here, man. Harpy. Yeah, they are. Yeah, they, they are. They're going to be Harpy's. like the main inhabitants, but I don't want them to have. Damn. I... Harpy's how, about, how, about, how, about, how about Avia? Yeah, yeah. Avia. Avia is a genius name in Because like Avian nothing. or Arrow. Yeah. Arrow. Like A-E-R-O, like Arrow. Or like Arrow. Could have multiple meanings depending on how you spell it. 
ein paar Avia. Aww. Maybe the city of Ari Avia and the uh, code word is Arrow? What about yeah. Cloudtopia? I think that's taken. I skipped the city in the cloud. Inca already is shitty somewhere. <laughs> come on. Come on, brother. Let's name it Avia. Or come up with your own names, man. I don't mind. Do what you want. I'm just saying, I'm giving my I'm yeah. giving my things that will make my lore much easier. What about... I Aurora. still think Hoppy Heron's rest ain't bad. How Arc about Aurora? Aurora the city Borealis. in the sky. Yeah, I Ooh, After a... Aurora Borealis, yes. Aurora, the city in the sky. It's not a bad idea. Yeah. Actually, right, you know what's funny? What? Actually, Makes continue. sense. Continue. And it's right. simple. Aurora? I've, I was settled on Aurora, because I've gone quite fond of the name myself. And again, that is still just a word. Wanna call it Aurora's? Aurora's? Yeah. That could, really, that could be what the ill-mannered foreigners What about Aurora, Aurora Avius? I don't know. No, Aurora's. Aurora's. City in the sky. Yeah. Aurora's the city in the sky. Aurora's rolls off the tongue easy. And it ain't just a word. It's heavily based oh, on a word. Aurora's. But it works. Aurora's. What? Aurora's. Floating sky. Oh, Aurora's. Uh, floating citadel. Or, no. City in the yeah, sky. It's called Aurora's. Yeah. Aurora's, Aurora's city of steel. Aurora's the sky city. city of steel. Great. So, we're, we're, we're spending a little bit too much time on this name. Let's settle on it, once and for all. Go Aurora. try if you want Aurora, it's the city, the city in the sky, uh, or, or the city of steel. I want that. The city of sky. Okay. So it's going to be, God. we'll say this, the vote is comes in, we're going to say it's Aurora. The city of steel, well, the city of steel or the city in the sky? Which one do you guys want? Sky. Okay. Sky. Okay. Sky. Okay. The city in the sky. Aurora. City of the sky, or city in the sky. As you can, as you lock in the name, what is the activation code for this terminal here, with the spell? RP pussy. Uh huh. Activation code can be a RP pussy. It would have to be something so inane, so out of there that no one else would possibly ever guess it. We are the Brotherhood of Harpy Steel. Pussy. <laughs> no one else would want to fuck it. Pussy. Who's going to think the activation code is Harpy Pussy? No one would think Anyone that. that knows you? <laughs> yeah, anyone who knows us personally, brother, they would guess it almost immediately. Yeah. I don't think yeah, I don't think can I've you spent only a activate day in the past month not fucking a harpy. Anybody, anybody that's given the code can get into the terminal specifically. But you guys will become aware that someone has entered into the terminal. Okay. Uh, all right. So basically, anybody when I said anybody you allow, it means anybody you give the code to. So not someone who just guessed it. Exactly. Yeah. That, that's... Well, no, no. It would be it would be anybody who's registered to the device, and they can register themselves. Uh, so the person a person can register themselves if they enter the password correctly, and they get to the terminal and register themselves. But if they don't, do, if they don't register themselves and they like get out of the terminal, they can no longer try to get into it with that password. So it's pretty, it's pretty yeah. secure. So you guys got lucky overriding the password of the previous city. Okay, they, it was something really stupid, like just a come on in or one two three no, four. No, it was it was actually uh, open sesame. <laughs> it was open sesame once again. Uh. Now oh, come on, we, we got to think of a serious password here. It makes sure that no is a serious password here. because no one will guess it. We're Don't think we won't push off with serious. We're not giving the and password. And since it's not serious, no, no, no. they won't realize. I, I am on a rant. So that, that's like the perfect password. Seeing as how I'm outvoted, I'm going to overrule it anyways. We're not naming the password Harpy Pussy. Okay, how oh, come about... on. Harpies are more than just pussy. They're also tits. Okay, how about um, harpy tits? Oh, that's harpy a good idea. Burn taste. 
Well, let's name it Brotherhood of Steel. Mm. And that's too obvious. Yeah, that's a little bit too on the nose, don't you think? Yeah, you're right. I still I think Hoppy think... Pussy is a, bit, is a good one. Stop trying to name it Hoppy Pussy. Why oh, not? Tell you what, what's the name of your pig? Funny. Tell you what, what's the name of your pig? Uh, his name is Waddles. That 15 foot monstrosity is named Waddles? Yeah. He's really a sweet eye. Alright. Well, how about we give the name Waddles to the uh, password? Waddles. Oh, you know what? I, I literally can't say no to that. Speaking of yeah. which, is Waddles still on the ship? I feel like he might uh, enjoy being on a, being on all this green land a bit more than being stuck in the deck of a ship. What does the city yeah, actually look yeah. like, by the way? Like, you haven't really described it other than just a fault. Of there are city. broken stone buildings, sundered by strange magic. There are cobbled streets that have, at this point, you can see, like, blue uh, bits of magic flowing through them. Um, a strange pattern that seemingly, seemingly dug through some of the stones. Uh, there are large buildings and towers throughout the city and a large wall surrounded by plains uh, that seem to uh, run around it. There is a small lake at the very center of the city where the large tower that you reside on is surrounded by. But that's all you know. You haven't investigated further into the city. There might be more underground. Well, well actually, no, no, one of you has. Or... Ryan, what you've seen of the city as well is there are capes that are flung against different places on the walls, uh, and there seems to be, like, shadows of people that are on the walls, like in Hiroshima when the dro bombs dropped, and there are just shadows left oh, of people. Oh, damn. Uh, and there's ash that oh. seem to flow around the city and get stuck in places. There are ancient posters that are propagandized, but they are burnt and sundered on some of them, and some of them are just whited by some strange divine light that burst through the city to make, make it go falling down from the sky. It looks like it would have been larger, the city, but this is the only central piece that survived because of the magical, innate nature to it. Out of character, if you guys recall, all those floating those floating meteors that were falling from the sky were part of this oh, city. You're, and you're a robot. You're a robot. You're breaking up bad, man. Robot. Robot. If Robo you guys goblin. recall, out of character, there you go. All those floating boulders that fell were part of the city, and many of them were much bigger than the city itself. Oh, which so means the I'm island was at those... one point much bigger before it was sundered and fallen from the sky. So... And I'm guessing that massive pieces that fell into the ocean did not come back up with the city. The pieces that fell, no, they sank oh, immediately. What? Too bad. We could have had a mega city. We could have. Oh, mate, you know how to live. Discord, come on. Authenticating. Connect. We need to reconnect the magic inside of the massive pieces of boulder that are bigger than the city itself. We can barely even. You said you said it wouldn't work when I told you to put water in a fucking container. We can barely even manage holding up a city. I don't know how well it would go trying to unearth literal pieces of earth a bit larger than this. Besides, well, there's not much to, more to gain. Two of you to well, lift this, right? Well, whatever stayed on the surface was probably the most important part, because that was where all the magic was focused and located. Otherwise, it would have sunk fine. immediately. Fine, fine. We'll have to, we'll have to mark down this place so we can uh, come back. Now that's I idea. think we can do it. I You've think been we traveling can do it. for a week, remember. So it would have to be a week back from... You can make a survival check if you want. Point. But you have to go to the ship to get a map. I'm the only one who can... I, I think I we might actually... Go, go. I think I might have kind of like a poorly drawn map. Hold on. Uh, I'm gonna take hold of the yeah, orb. I have, poor, and... I have poorly drawn maps. I'll look, start looking through those. All right, make a survival check for me. <laughs> that part of four travelers, I get uh, poorly drawn maps. Can I try to uh, 
Can I try to bring the uh Far Traveler island? means you are from a different place. You wouldn't have maps of Taram specifically. It would be a different island. It would be like Oh no, yeah, from. I know it wouldn't be. He's so, still looking through anyways. You don't you don't see where you are. It's basically Orcellium. And it's lands. Hmm. Uh can I try to take you don't, you don't the get to roll island? Ogren. It's not it's not for this. Sorry, go ahead, Eodis. Can I try to take the island down so, uh, like, near the water, uh, near the ship, so it's an easier yeah. kind of flight down to go grab it? As thing. you focus right. on the activation key, what password did you guys set? Waddles. Waddles. Oops. You say Waddles, yeah. and you hear, How may I help you, Tidal? Uh, at this point, have I talked to the island itself? No, this is the first time you're hearing this voice. What the fuck is that? Hello? Only if Tidal hears it. Hello. I am Aurorus. Arur I believe that was the name, correct? Yes, Ar 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 City of the Sky. <laughs> How may I help you? I need to get a bit closer to the ground to make it simpler for me to retrieve a map from the ship below. Do you mean closer to the water? Yes. Understood. Not the earth below the water, just the water. Computing. Understood. I need right. everyone to make strength saving throws I... as <laughs> the island shoots downwards. So this thing Might can't have move a plus six. It uses a lot more magical energy, but yes, it can. Especially okay, the seven. You get the feeling it stopped its flight for a second to fall fast. Okay. I, I, I'm, I rolled a 16. Am I still, like, in contact with the orb? You're, like, standing at the orb and, like, holding on to it, and then suddenly whoo, you get flung up and hit the ceiling, same as Gesh, as both you and Joseph fall down, suffering 20 points of bludgeoning damage as the city stops just above the water. Or Next time, I meant slower. Apologies. Oh. Next time, I will lower down slower. Thank you. You Next guys see Tidal is just talking, talking to nothing at the moment. What are you talking about? Is you hit your head a right, bit I... much when you were raising the city or something? Alright, give me one second, Horus, as I take my hands off. I'm li talking to the ship, it the island itself, it seems. Wait, it wait. appears to have a conscience. No way. Wait, are we, able to, are we able to talk to it? I don't know. Horus, are you able to speak uh, to anyone outside of the orb? I'm going to say without touching the orb. No response. Because you I, have activated I, me, I can speak to oh. you properly. You are my handler for the moment. If anyone else was to activate me, they may speak to me. Alright. Well, Auroras, this is my brother, Joseph, and Orion. They will also uh, be... There is another brother, Theolin, but he is not here right now. He's uh, down on the ship. Uh, no... All Would you like to add one. Orion and Joseph to the master key? Yes. This would provide them... Are you sure? This would provide them complete control over the city. Well, over my programming. Once you... Well, if they are to insert the password correctly and touch the orb. Yes. Understood. Please have them but only cut their hands and place their blood on the core. Hmm. You need my blood as well. No. Your magical signature has already been detected. Perfect. When I get a chance, I'll have Thielen do the same. Understood. Making a note for later. Have Thielen touch the core with blood. His blood. Alright, you two, go ahead. Oh. Go ahead and do what? Oh, shit, sorry. Uh, I need you both to uh take a drop of take a drop of your blood and touch the orb with it. Okay. Oh, okay. all right. As I pull out the fucking great sword to do this. No, hold, hold on, hold on, Orion, hold on. Uh, hold on, I've got oh. something in my inventory. I'm just like dig around and like pull out a, a dagger. This will be a lot more precise. 
I'm gonna cut my oh. hand with the dagger immediately. You cut your hand, and Orion right. cuts his hand. I assume you both place your hands on the blood, uh, uh, your bloody hands on the orb, correct? Yes. As you do, you feel this energy pulse into you. You both do suffer ten points of force damage. Easy. But you like, you feel this energy pass through your mind, and you pull off. And you understand the machine a little bit now. Oh. All right. Now we can get to the questions. Right. You, you, you just you just see like Orion looks like he's ha just had like a fucking revelation. Like as you put your hand on, it's not just understanding the machine. You understand how it connects to the island. Like you feel its connection to the entire island, and you can feel the points where the magic is pushing up the city. How it's point at the very bottom is acting as a counterbalance and you can feel the entire city as the wind pushes upon it as it floats upon the base of the ocean anything around it within like a proximity of like half a mile and like your perceptions just open up for a moment and you're like whoa and then your brains start to hurt and you pull off Aurora. Man, title. Where, where, where's that where's that gif of the cat going to space after the flowers fall on his head hang on the title, I still can't believe you managed to bring this island to function again. Well, I wouldn't have been able to do it without you, Joseph. Don't sell yourself short. Yes. Your ideas, though foolish as they were, did actually help me in finding the proper recipe. And your abilities actually came in quite handy when I came to fixing the orb properly. Additionally, Orion was seen in the lower districts, and due to his Strength managed to unplug one of the damaged receptors. Doing so, the island was full. I, Aurorus, was fully receptive. You can see us when we're not here. How much? How much of a view on these on this island do you have? I have oh. perception of the entire island. I also have heard what you wish to do with it. You may do what you want. Just realize, I am always watching. <laughs> Um, and while you yeah, are touching is... the core, you may always watch too. Oh, oh, really? That sounds kind of hot. Not That's... going more. Mm, uh, anyways, anyways, anyways. You are all oh. perverts. Yeah, and I'm going to not be watched. Sorry, Bruce. Don't worry. You won't do anything. Well, we'll try not to do anything too obvious out in the open. Like... We'll try to keep some semblance of privacy. Yeah, like, I can still oh, yeah. see into the buildings. Then yeah. I apologize for what's going to happen. Yeah, me and Tyra literally pushed our energy into you. I, I think it can't get much more... Oh, oh Horus, hold on. Uh, how much of the island was lost during the fall? Calculating. 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 From previous from previous files detected, ninety percent of the island was lost during the sundering. Ninety percent. Many files are missing. Attempting to restore. Oh. Attempting to restore. Failure. Attempting to restore. Attempting to restore. Aurora. Failure. Attempting to restore. I got, I got an idea on how to restore it. Yes, Master. We, we we may have to go back to where uh, the, the falling thing happened, but uh, my idea is pretty simple. I mean, there was something plugging a small piece of what's left here, right? And I'll manage to remove that and toss it off. Right? What? Right? No, it was blocking my pathways, but yes, you did toss it off. Okay, so what if there's things blocking off stuff on the other pieces? If we get uh, those any sort of blockages out of that, and you might be able to store it, right? There would be billions of gallons of water in the way to do so, but technically it's doable. I mean, I got about an hour's of air worth as I pull out the breathing bubble. Fuck you and your breathing bubble, man. Breathing it's such a useful common item. Just fucking drown. You really, you really like that breathing Dr bubble. Drown. Be a man. 
But anyways, we that would have to be an event far in the future. We'd have to reconnect so many magical pathways. Yeah, we ain't doing that right now. We got other stuff, don't we? No. Yeah, we would. I don't know if this is we know where we're going or why. I also have more questions for. You would Bruce. need a powerful enchanter to accomplish such a feat. Yeah, Artibus yeah. might be one possibly to from the first age, if one did exist. So you're <laughs> aware of the first age. How old are you, Aurorus? Files not present. Calculating. Trying to regain. Failure. I'm sorry, right. I cannot answer that question. All right, Aurorus. Different question. What is your earliest memory? Calculating. Files not present. Oh, I think what we're what looking is for the earliest on, file right? that is present. Earliest file present. Designation given. Or it's Aurorus, right? Yeah. Aurorus, city in the sky. Ah. So you remember. Anything so it, from before, you don't have files or nothing for anything before we activate. She's aware here. of the first age, but she does not remember anything. How peculiar. I recall the bright lights, and then All the right. water, and then what my name. So, you are not aware of the reason this island was sundered? Searching for files, files, presents. Would you like to investigate? Oh. Yes, I yes. would. Please insert the password. Wow. Password not accepted. Please insert the password. Oh, maybe it's the same as the first one. Open sesame. Password accepted. Welcome back, Alma. Oh? You mean to tell me that... Oh? The original password was fucking open sesame. It was hilariously easy. I don't know who this Alma. Well, actually, I do know who this Alma character is. Me and nope. Fielin, before we met you two, uh, we stumbled into a tower of his. Uh, the Angelic Alans. Uh, there was a little. Files detected. Hey. Angelic Alans. Alma Sanctuary. Would you like to investigate? Yes. Yes. Oh. Yes. Please insert the password. Open oh, sesame. Files activated. Your minds are filled with information. About the sanctuary. I really wish the more was here. A study. Experiments on individuals that were carried uh, over to his study. Information about the spine of Sugaroth. And how it affects the individuals being experimented on. All this information is flowing through. I need, I need intelligence saves from all of you to see how much you retain. Oh shit! Final. You don't need a roll one because you retain all of this because you recall it. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I was about to ask that. Ten. Okay. Well, I retain more knowledge than you, and I'm dumber than you. Information on trying to place this shard of a god into other creatures and how it affected their bodies, split them open, destroyed them. And then his last research was in Ozimir, but they escaped. Um, uh, I, I have an out-of-character question. Was Alma a player character? No. Oh, okay. He's a I player character's character. creator. Out of character, we had an automaton... Oh. Or should I say a uh, an automaton? Yes, from uh, a Pathfinder game yep. recently uh, that was named uh, like C C O J or something like that, and Alma was his creator. Wait, okay. no, well, he didn't uh, know all this was, information. There were three automatons. There was Ucam. Yeah, you, there it was, was Ucam. It was Ucam. There was the Connor Sue, which was Frosh, and there was Mine Anchor. There was Ucam. Yeah, it was Ucam. Yeah, Ucam. Oh, oh, was. was... Alma's sanctuary originally a part of the island? No. However, the information was sent to me due to a secondary core created in Alma's sanctuary. As a, should I say, nexus point, I was the one of the central points 
or secondary central nexus points connected to Alma's true research lab. Out of character, can I ask if there was any knowledge on and af any of the aforementioned automatons? Nope. Okay. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Gash, uh, now. Am I just uh, no? Cool. What? Alright. To Aurorus? I didn't hear anything you just said. Um, my question to Aurorus was if they have any defense systems. Defense systems? Offline. Sundering destroyed one. capabilities. Mages dead. Wards underpowered. Unused. May be activated. Would you like to put, would you like to activate Project Abjuration? Wait, what yes. is the No What is the information? What happens? I need a unanimous decision. Okay. What are the details on Project Abjuration or something? Abjuration, yeah. Information passes through all of your minds. Does anybody have a passive arcana of 15? No. Uh, passive arcana? So like 10 plus your arcana bonus. Mine is 9. Mine, my arcana is a plus 5, so that would be... 15. I wonder, what's 10 plus 15? 15. What's 10 plus 5? 15, yes. You I'm barely, sorry, I, it's late. You or barely early. understand anything about it, but it is heavy and ancient arconic weaved glyphs. The city is designed in a certain pattern to create a magic circle that fits all of these glyphs and different pieces in, and you're like, it will protect the city. However, it costs a heavy amount of the city's mana to do, and it is a constant drain. And at the moment, the city doesn't have any mana reactors to create mana as it did when it was first created. So you get the feeling... Uh, it's going back down if we activate it. It's going it. back down if you activate it and hold it for more than 30 seconds. All right. We are not going to activate it you now. You know, there are no mana reactors near the center of the city, uh, and they were all on the edges inside the island, and those are gone. So we need to build mana reactors. We want to activate that. I'll buy them. And mana reactors... I'd like all of you to make history checks, actually. Okay, so we just figured out what we need to do. Let's or Arcana if you possible. want Eotis. Arcana if you want Eotis. Uh, both are plus five. I'll do Arcana. Okay. Ooh, 18. Okay. 21. No. Orion, you're like, the fuck is a mana reactor? Hey, hey, hey. I, said, I said nope. Okay. 17. Orion, you're like, what the fuck is a mana reactor? Yeah, that's fair. <laughs> <laughs> you're like you know that it probably creates mana based on what she's saying but you're not sure about anything else after that um, and react to go burr yeah Yotis and Gesh you know based on the information you're given here um, mana reactors are known throughout history as mana creation based reactors they create mana and are able to power powerful magics and rituals there have been some that are used through blood magic and used corpses to create mana. There are some that uh, require heavy amounts of people to pour mana into them and then they run for a bit creating their own mana before they spur out and they need to be redone again. Um, you, Eotis, uh, well, I'd say you, Gesh, know that recently um, a mana reactor was found in Agaburst, uh, from ancient Agaburst from Mizzelferkupstein, the island, and has been brought to... Let's see here. No, no, no. Uh, actually, it's been brought to Strum... No, not to Strum... It's been brought to Strumland. Uh, some information was discovered there in Strumland, and then it was brought to Marsethith, uh, specifically, uh, for identification by the Archmage there. But the Archmage has been missing for about a year now. Well, not a year, but like a few months now. And at this point, uh, they're unsure what to do with it, but they hold it in their clutches. Um, okay. In fact, 
you do recall that that mana reactor was loaned out to a mage in Marsethith who was using a, uh, a secret base there and was looking to create a project. You are an elf. I'll say roll mm. another roll roll me a persuasion check and see if you could have gotten this information. Only rolls that. I feel like my intelligence is going oh, to fucking go off the top of the yeah, I got. DM's inspirations. Not yet. Yeah, we have used the DM's inspirations on that. Okay, go on. That's a roll. You do recall the name that of it. Roll. It was Project Equilibrium. Oh, God. <laughs> you damn know it. the buyer was named something like Ratouche. Oh, shit. Damn it. It's you fucked, bring man. it up. We're gonna have to fight him with like. You don't understand buddies. how planned I've made the Draconia game, motherfucker. Bro. This is Bro. impressive, like, genuinely. Yeah. Goblin. All three. All three campaign characters from these from Draconia, Fafnir, and Tales of Sand and Steel are all. You don't understand. As you guys were going to Agabus, I was like, okay, I need a future thing. Okay, what is he trying to accomplish? This is what he's trying to accomplish. Okay, how would he do this? Okay, they did find this here. They brought it there. Brought it there. Okay, but they can't do anything because their Archmage is traveling with your party. Okay, so what would they have done with it? They would have lent it out because otherwise it's a money source that's being wasted. Okay, who would they have lent it out to? Oh, who needs a fucking mana reactor for this whole project he's trying to do here? I fucking wonder. A, uh, and who would be able to run a, ma a, a mana reactor? Oh, a powerful mage. Who's a powerful mage in Marsethith? Oh, <laughs> I wonder. Uh, <laughs> did, did we fucking overflow the mana reactor with the divine energy? Was that the mana reactor? I wonder. Was that a whole different thing? I wonder. Shit, we broke it. <laughs> Your characters don't know that, huh? Um, yeah, we have no idea about that. Anyways, um, as you're as you're remembering this Gesh um, title, you you start to think. Recently, <laughs> in Durath, in the last few years, they've been digging up and discovering something called uh, elemental crystals, uh, magic crystals, which are like sources of primal and magical energy that have been condensed into a solid form by natural magic. And they've been using that to power uh, uh, platinum and silver-based rifles to combat. Uh, the military has been using that to combat um, the Hydra Alliance, as well as now the Jack of Bretting Alliance for some time now. And they've been also having experiments with these crystals to see what they, uh, what else they could do. They produce mana. If you use it too often, like if you use it too often or too much of the mana within it, it can't produce enough and it explodes and it is shattered. But they are a perfect concentration of production of mana and they could probably be used to power an arcane engine or a mana mana reactor as stated permanently if you get enough of them Ooh, oh, I, oh I my we, god i know how we I, could power this shit up permanently i do have well no it's been multiple months at this point so i couldn't go back to the uh, point in Darath. nope never mind but, at this point, Joseph brings up information. Oh. Go ahead. Uh, I was going to set a point in, in, in Aurora. In Aurora's? Is, is it, yeah, in Aurora's. Okay. Max, max level, my guy. Max level. Oh, yeah. You, you have to do a max level. level. So, yeah. And how long and does that last it, for? It, it lasts for six months. And I am going to, every single day, try to return to it at some point and uh, reset the thing to try and make it permanent. Okay. But yes, as you said it is... here, you're like, okay. Gesh, Joseph, you immediately recognize Magic Reactor and all this information. Go ahead. Wait, couldn't we use the Raffian Elemental Crystals to make Magical Reactors? You don't know about the Durathian Elemental Crystals. That is Eotis. Oh, I yeah. thought you meant me with that. No. The... I will not hire that either. Yeah, but... Yeah, that's fucking... You know where a magic reactor is. Can yeah. we take a quick five-minute break so I can go get some uh, food? I yeah, am... go ahead. Go ahead, no problem. Yeah. Like I'm Anyways, we'll Thank just you. talk here uh, as the recording keeps going. Uh, but... So, you guys don't understand 
how much I had to plan because I was like, what is Rotusha's goal in the end? Um, but yeah. So, Complete. yeah. There is like a slight chance this campaign will retire and we will make the rebuild the new nation of this island thing. Oh yeah, no, I'm, I'm planning on what the fucking nation will be in the end. Yeah, like we are making a nation on the Brotherhood, the Brotherhood nation. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna be causing airspace incidents with other nations. Oh, Jesus. Oh, fuck, because there's like two or three other uh, floating islands. No, Jesus. I mean, they're you're in Conan. people's airspace and they don't know uh, about your island. So unless yeah, you talk to people, problem. there's going to be problems. And they might fucking get powerful magic to shoot you down. Yeah, we, we would need to talk about... Or if you're using the airspaces around other nations where skyships use for ports, boom, skyship explodes oh. and falls on the populace. Oh. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm too dumb to think about that. So what do you guys I think about all this information you just got, how interconnected the games are? I, I knew your game were interconnected, but holy shit, I didn't know how much until now. Hang on, I got a figure gift for this. Is the Charlie gift, please? <laughs> but every time we get information in our mind. Oh, and you know what's funny? Actually, Iotis' character met Rotush in Riverton a few, like a month or two ago. And he met Zarius, who told him, Come to Draconia, we'll meet. Basically. Because uh, he wanted to talk to them, because he felt something strange about his brother. And they had seen him talking to Rotush. And they heard his name be mentioned. So if your character brings up Rotush, he may be able to tell you about Rotush and that you might be able to be able to meet him and get access to the magic. Oh my god. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. So we could just do that reactor off Bro, I've been connecting these games without realizing it, too. Bro, I feel like this is gonna be the most legendary game we have. Maybe. It'll, it'll only be legendary if I kill Barnabas off. No, 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 no. I if... have a whole plot line you guys haven't even, haven't even gotten to with Barnabas over several campaigns. Wait, right, wait, 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 Goblin. What, what, we would, going on? what would oh, happen yeah. if we make all of the um, all of the attack should work on this ship again and they just pull up to Rotush and blast them off the face of the earth? Well, you guys don't know about <laughs> Rotush. Anyways, um, so, I do. Joseph, as this information comes to your mind about the... You didn't even remember it at first when they said Magical Generator, but then you started thinking, Magical Generator, where have I heard that? Go ahead. Wait, I just realized something. There's a guy named Rutusha Mustafsif who has a Magical re re Generator. Well, then obviously we need to go over there and Reactor. kill him. Obviously, Title. that's the only Title. Answer. In yeah. your mind, you're like, Rutush. I heard that name in Riverton. It's when Zarius brought Thielen up and choked him in the air. Didn't... Didn't Zarius say he wanted to talk with me in Draconia? Don't I have a return point to Draconia? <laughs> uh, I do. Uh, and then you also sorry, start to remember the elemental gems in Giraffe title as you, you you remember those as well. I have a point at war I have a point at the Warwick's Rest, at the ship I'm on, Magnipool, Draconia, and Arian Heights. And now one in our wars. And you start to recall title. We could speak to Zarius about getting a magical reactor. And then you start to think in your mind. We could also go to Darath and speak to them about possibly getting magical gems. But then how do we set up a magical reactor? You would have to you have to think about it. Ask Barnabas. You would need a, a great enchanter. You have a friend who's a great enchanter. <laughs> yeah. Uh, v, are you still there? Yep, I'm here. Okay, I, I can't remember if we told you or not, but me and Bartibus are fucking tight. God damn it. Yeah, they, they are best of friend though. Yeah, yeah, we're, tight, we're, you we're, say. we're, we're pals. I mean, tight, I'd say they're say, tight. Huh? Now, we, now we just need to contact Bartibus, and the only one who can do that is Thielen, Sending. Wait, he doesn't have Sending, does he? Thielen does. Thielen does. 
We have got to get. We have got to talk to Thielen, who is not currently present. Bro, realize this. V went to sleep like two hours into the session, and woke up, and we're still playing the session. <laughs> it was, it's been so long. I I think maybe we should stop here. Not yet. Not yet. Nah, not yet. It's... I'm not. I'm not to a point where I want to stop the episode yet. It's only been an hour. All right. All right uh, I'm going to relay all this information to. Uh, my bad, us. Orion and Joseph. God, I can't remember their names. As you as you rely on this information, uh, you hear Aurorus. New information computed. Would you like to set a location? Would you like to set a destination for Marseth? No. We need to stay on the. Uh, we need to stay on our way to the Angelic Avans for now. Understood. Putting it in backlog. All right. Well, if we all just are done discussing this, why don't we all head throughout the city and see what we can find? Maybe might there's not some. Bad of an idea. I'll let the, yeah. I'll go let the harpies know that if they can start con uh, constructing nests up here, we'll allow them to stay. And I should probably go down there and get a map. Actually, hold on. Oh, we should all get down. Yes. Well, Title. Uh, have you been? Do you have a map of the city? Searching for file. Searching for file. Searching for file. File corrupted. City has changed too much. Would you like me to do a preliminary scan? That would be most yes. helpful. Let us know of any dangers that are possibly on the island. Scanning. 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 I got a zero on that last roll. That's impressive. On D100. <laughs> on a what? I should know that, 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 mean, that means it's that a, means it's a, that means yeah. 100, yeah. Scan complete. You said on a one. Oh shit. No dangers aside from 30 harpies. Ain't dangerous. Or well, not to us, at least. Fifteen hundred like voles, six rabbits, horned rabbits, crimson horned rabbits. What are those? Crimson horned rabbits. That probably doesn't matter. They're just rabbits. They Searching be for rabbit. file. Searching for file. File on crimson horned rabbits. Would you like to look? Uh, yeah. Yes, you might as well. They're just rabbits. How, how hard could how hard could they be to hide? Crimson horned rabbits. Travel in pairs of two. Speed. Large. Defense. Small. Damage output. Large. Danger level. Three per. For a pair. Add to nine. How much is a? Three per. Three danger level per creature. Huh. See? That shouldn't be too odd. Now then. I mean... Have you also, have you also been keeping did. track of uh, where the this island has been... Whoa. A Going. A flight pattern. A flight pattern. Scanning. Rising from ocean and moving. Previous flight patterns are available if you would like to read. I am interested. Please enter password. Open sesame. Open sesame? Pa Open sesame. Password not accepted. Please enter password. Waddles. Password not accepted. Please enter Shit. password. It looks like there was a third one. We do not, we were not aware. Abracadabra. Password Abra accepted. Abra what? <laughs> what did he say? Abracadabra. <laughs> I'm not fucking with you. I'm not fucking with you. Almost, almost a dick. There's something Orion would absolutely say. All this magical bullshit fucked Abracadabra. Almost a dick, man. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> Uh, no way asshole. that's right. No fucking You guys way. see the island has floated around the entirety of Taram and even past the fog wall long ago. 
It mentions islands' names that you are not aware of. Uh, it mentions an island named... Give me one second here. An island named Keegan. Um, and there's another island. Give me one second to look. Um, I mean, there's my island. Yeah, what is your island name? Uh, Larissa. Larissa. What's your island name, uh, Iotis? Monolo. Monolo. <laughs> this is not my name wrong. Arios. <laughs> can you set a can you set a waypoint on the area where you came from the sea? There might be a time in the future where we need to return to it. Locating. 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 Scanning. Triangulating. Area found. Maclog placed. Is there anything else I can do, masters? I don't suppose uh, you'd have information on how to help us build a mana reactor, would you? Files are locked. Please yeah. enter password. Abracadabra. Password not accepted. Please enter password. Open, Open sesame. sesame. Password not accepted. Please enter password. Uh, how many passwords? I'm looking jam. Password accepted. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, I mean, I'm looking work last time, so why would I look at jam not work this time? You guys are marking down these passwords, right? Oh, I am. Okay. You guys see information start to pass through your minds. Everyone make another intelligence saving throw. <laughs> I'm really annoyed that the lore keeper isn't here because I've got to be writing all this shit down for him. Mm -hmm. Intelligence saving throw? Mm-hmm. 18. <laughs> the band of brothers love rolling 18s. Come on, we've rolled an 18 as well. Dude, we keep rolling 18s out the wazoo. I know. <laughs> Natural 20. Not 18. Nope, I'm using a, I'm using a Three inspiration. Don't, don't bother. Don't you don't bother. need to. No, you will. No. Nope. You pulled the you. cash. Stop rolling, you're gonna roll a seven. Crash? Plus a nine. Yo, do I keep going? I just used two. I'd recommend it. No. <laughs> recommend if he's recommending it, this is gonna be the third one. Don't use- he's just trying to bait you! God damn it. Stop rolling! Well, you're... if I keep going, I'll get high enough. You're slowly getting higher and higher. You're slowly getting flatter. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Before you roll, before you roll. Oh, shit. Dude, your next roll is essentially guaranteed to be a nat 20. I would say roll with um... advantage. Roll with advantage on your next roll. All this right. is so funny. Natural ones. Double nat one would go hard as hell right now. Almost as hard as me. Okay. Stop rolling. This is an intelligence check. It was against you from the very start. Anyways, so... The only information you all retain is that you would need a lot of silver, a lot of enchantment dust of some kind, gold, and precious metals. And it's probably worth probably nearing half a billion in gold amounts of today's standards. Damn. Actually, if we were to go back to the area where you sunk, do you think it would be possible to maybe salvage some of the old mana reactors and reattach them to this uh, point? Oh, no. would, we would only need a, a couple of the mana reactors before, because the island before was much larger. We'd only need to sustain about 10% of it. Area where mana reactors sank is the Mithril Sea. It is not recommended for you to dive too deep into it. And with the island sinking, it would, it would, it would, it would, it would dive deep down deep 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 deeper than most uh, sea uh. serpents love to swim 
Yeah, they, we, we should not do that. If we so... were to go, we would need a lot of Danger level considered 120. Plus. Wait. Pl oh, yeah, no. Okay. So let's not go there anytime soon. Not unless we absolutely have to. We'll have to, we'll have to try focusing on constructing our own for the time being. I'll go. I'll go alert the harpies. It looks like the. It looks like we're going to be staying on this city for a while. Hmm. Should we also alert the pope and the captain that uh, we're getting? Oh. You can see the pope is on, like, is on the ship watching this. Like he's just looking at you guys as you're on here. I keep, for, I keep forgetting he's on the ship. So like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You hear in your mind the pope goes, "Well, to all, it seems you've Ooh. rose the city." Oh. From the ashes. We need to talk. Right. You forget. I'm... He is a powerful I'm... cleric. He has sending. I did completely forget that. I keep. I genuinely just keep over and over forgetting that this is originally his ship. Mm -hmm. Anyways. Another sending spell. We'll talk soon. Field and Pyre are missing. Right, give me one second. He responded with give me one second. <laughs> no, 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 I don't. <laughs> what the fuck? My fat ass was finishing off with some cereal, sorry. Got it. I see. Uh, we will talk. Soon. I almost just started speaking in Aurora's fucking voice because I've been speaking in it for <laughs> over an hour. <laughs> Dude, it's such a good voice. Uh, I fucking love Aurora. So I'm gonna build her a body and then fuck. No, anyways. No, I mean, I, I already figured gonna, you guys. Not, not if I do it first. He's gonna make Katana. <laughs> Dude, we're gonna we are gonna gangbang this island. All right, I'm gonna put that in quotes. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking that. You just, how could you not quote that? How could you not quote that shit? How did that not be the first thing on your mind when you when you raise a city from the fucking depths of the ocean and it's, it, it's especially just sitting when it there? sounds like Katana? Right. I'm gonna smack the ever like shit out of the city. Uh. Anyways, I got it. <laughs> this is, everything I said was just like just heard by the Pope. Yeah, it was. Oh <laughs> shit. Oh, uh, sorry. Message not meant for you. Uh, hanging up now. Bye. <laughs> I'm trying to cut off this. Hey, you this. Hey, you this. You're gonna have the island. <laughs> Call this the island campaign. <laughs> oh my god. Bro, hey, this is gonna have the island. He is gonna have like um. He's gonna have Harsha. Um. But, uh, Chiron is gonna have Pyra, and I'm just gonna have the the, the rest of the harpies. <laughs> oh, speaking of which, I'm more shortening the stick here. <laughs> you got a personal oh, harpy, which I is crazy. I need to register for you. the harpies as the new citizens of the island. They will likely be staying here for quite some time. Understood. New citizens under direct file citizen has been applied to harpies. Please bring them to the core to register. Okay. Joseph, this, this job's on you. Round them up. Right. Let's get the harpies. As you oh. step out and go up. No, I'm fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> you go, oh. cook, come get this cook, cook. Anyways, continue. Oh. Bro, we are all fucking tired. I can hear it in our voices. Yeah, I'm, yeah. It, this has been what almost a twelve-hour session. Almost, yeah. Yeah, ridiculous. And the best part is, is I'm loving every bit of it. I am too. But this campaign has gotten, and all the this campaign has after escalated the so hard. We got off track so fucking hard. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Goblin, was, Goblin was just like, I'm gonna throw some harpies at these guys, see what they do. <laughs> Five minutes later, we, we have a city of harpies under our control. <laughs> oh, God, city of harpies, we fucked a bunch of them. 
I don't, I don't think we this fucked up This is turn like, oh. from us getting harpies to fucking have is a, our own city. No it shit! Went from br <laughs> it went from brotherly love to massive underground horrific city. Or actually, no. Mad massive underground petrified city to brotherly love to uh, fucking harpies to unearthing a city that fell from the sky back into it from the depths of the sea and... And you gotta remember, these are all separate episodes. <laughs> yeah, I made yeah, sure but, to separate them. <laughs> <laughs> Good. But still, for us, it was like one big so, session. I will ask this. Over the next three weeks in game, as you continue towards the Angelic Aelins, what is your guys' goals? What are you doing? Training resilient. How are you training resilient? I'm specifically training resilient constitution. Are you gonna be fucking harpies? <laughs> the, ma the matriarch okay. and the princess? Because they will not fuck you because they are pregnant. Jokes on you, mine loves me and would do that. <laughs> I am yeah. I'm going to be training the skill expert feat. Okay. How are you gonna be training it? I specifically wanna uh improve my persuasion. So I'm going to be essentially just talking to Aurora and then I'm going to be talking to Aurora a lot because I want to unearth... So you're like, going to be using her as one of those AI girlfriends? Pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> roll, we'll call me on that. Okay, roll 3d20 plus your charisma modifier title. I swear, if you roll 3 nat 20s... <laughs> if I roll 3 nat 20s, I am immediately banging this city. Uh, that's a nat 1, so I'm DM'd inspiration it. Yeah, because that's a really bad thing. Yeah, that's a, yeah, that's a terrible thing. Yeah. Especially when you try to resolve the city. That's a net 20. That's, I'm getting that. Okay. So. As you begin to talk to her for the next three weeks, pushing alongside the boats, you do get the sense that she's warming up to you. You're unsure if it's her, like, acting, because she's helping you learn how to speak to others to an extent, trying to uh, persuade others and talk to them. But you do get a few giggles from her personality, and they almost seem real. We went from fucking it. <laughs> we went from having a harem of our piece to getting in a whole less island. That's my brother. <laughs> we wanna... I'm not saying that, because I know it's gonna be like disadvantage. I'm, I'm half tempted to ask if I could join in on that to train silver-tongued. Oh, piss off. She's mine. Unfortunately, she... No, she can help all three of you if you wanted to. So, Okrit... Go rizzo yeah. for the harpy. She's Orion, mine. do you want to try and silver tongue the island? No, Orion, get away from her. She's this mine. Of course. Have it. That I want to fuck this city. Orion, you bitch! Make... I'm going to DM... Three use all my DM's inspiration. Plus your charisma modifier. I'm going to use all my DM's inspiration to try and make them roll badly. <laughs> She's mine. <laughs> Plus one. One sec. Double check that. Yep. Okay, I don't need that. Uh, I'm gonna reroll. Damn it. So I, if you I could definitely get better than that. Oh, that's right, you had 10. That's better. 37? Yeah. You get the feeling that she. You get the feeling that you are earning a lot of experience here towards the feet, but unfortunately, you don't get it just yet. The DC has decreased for it, however, by 10. So from 50 down to 40. Uh, Alright. Sorry, that's starting out my voice there. No problem. And I'm being yeah, upset. I can hardly even do the title's voice I, anymore. I really don't because... expect you guys to do your voices. Yeah. <laughs> it's oh my... you're saying something out of character. Your voice is boring. Yeah. My throat is killing me. Mine too, motherfucker. I have to fucking talk. It's like 60 fucking people. <laughs> <laughs> you could have ended this at any point. No, I can't. You know, it's a, it's, it's perpetually moving now. <laughs> it is. You know that Doc Ock quote where it's like, it's sustaining itself. It can't be stopped. <laughs> the river. Drown it in the river. Me talking about my newborn son. Huh? 
so 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 do we uh the, does does orion get tiny bit smarter as well from all the information i will say over the over the month of talking you can get a plus one to your intelligence you're yeah really i'm at a nine okay. right you're getting closer skill ex because i got a Go that 20 and a skill expert uh, did i get anything else or it's just a no the island you bit. started raising up the island that's what you, you know what that's all i wanted joseph you did you did get the feet uh joseph yeah. What are you doing for the next three weeks? Um. I like how all of you said I'm gonna explore the island for anything, and you didn't explore the island. Oh yeah, I mean, I did order the harpies to like explore it for me. Uh, yeah. like, what they're they fucking brought? harpies? They have a low yeah. intelligence, yeah. motherfucker. I mean, I could always. I mean, I could always in between my time talk, talking to the island, I could be exploring. Well, unfortunately, talking to the island and trying to learn your silver tongue feet is a large portion of your time, so if you want to make an investigation check, uh, it, it, you can, but it will be a higher DC, so I don't think you're going to succeed. That's why I didn't want you to do it. Oh, I'm trying. Natural 20, though. Natural 20 is always possible. <laughs> he, he's, he now gets a net 20, I swear. Yeah, I swear to God. <laughs> that would fit the day's session. Yeah. That would Damn. Be, you know. I figured it wouldn't happen. You don't really find anything, but you walk the city streets. You walk the city streets. No, uh, I'm... Yeah, I'll, I'll be I'll be walking through it a bit more later. Okay, Joseph. Um, I would like explore the island, okay. but also care for the matriarch and her daughter. Okay, so what are you trying to do? Just that? Yeah. Okay, you're not trying to train anything. You're not trying to get anything. Yeah, wait. Um, if you see them. Resilient, I you said, right? Oh yeah, yes, resilient. But you can't fuck them. So what are you trying know, to get I, in resilience? I need to th figure out. I need to find a way to get resilient constitution without fucking. I could uh, punch you. Yeah, I can just walk over to you and just start beating the shit out of you if you'd like. Yeah, we can beat the shit out of you. How's that sound? Yeah, come on. We can push you around with our mage hands. Oh, you have sorry. Mage you hand. not have I have my fist. <laughs> with this work. You're unsure. I mean, just say, let's, just let's give flavor it, it like you're dueling us, like uh, training yeah. with us, and it's rough training. Yeah, then I would do that. Okay. I mean, or you could flavor it like you're going around trying to check on the uh, glyphs and wards that this. Uh, oh my god! The, I just realized it, this could actually also help me with. What? You could also help me with silver tongued, uh, because I don't know if you know this, but one of the features of it is that I can replace an attack action with trying to deceive a creature. Sure, uh, but no, unfortunately, it doesn't help much. I'll let you reroll well, no. one. I'll let you reroll one of the d20s. So the six right. on the second one. Yeah. While speaking with Auroran, do I gain any knowledge of any magical... Nope. Oh, nope. no! Nope. Demon inspiration. Do I gain any knowledge of any, like, magical item? Uh, it would or any one. prevalent, uh... Aurora's... Pieces? Well, you were just trying to raise her up, so no. I was. Okay. I, I am the one who tries to explore That was my main goal. Joseph. So, you try to explore Aurora's? Damn. Uh, but yeah. make me a con... Make me the con... Con... 3d20 plus con. Let's do that. Yeah, but you're training stuff, you're taking care of the harpies, you're doing a lot more than I was. I doubt ah, you're gonna find shit, it. Hey, you rolled so poor. You know what? I'm gonna use one of DM's inspiration on this. <laughs> so god awful. Probably be all nat 20s now. <laughs> if, that, if that happens, I'm gonna laugh my ass off. Better. Not not that, but it's a lot better. Almost doubled. <laughs> yeah, no, no, I got. Enough. Yeah, no. No, I gave this no, I I already got like pretty good. The DC is reduced to forty though for the next time you try. <laughs> the resilience in Constitution. Yep. So, as the three weeks ends, and you can see the beautiful sights, the angelic aliens in the distance, you can hear Aurora's laughing as Tidal speaks to her. 
You can see the two harpies uh, are beginning to lay their eggs for you uh, at the moment, Joseph, on the ship. And Okrin. Yeah? What's the fucking name of your gir girl? Harsha? Harsha At least, has... uh, let me look at the NPCs. I actually wrote it down. Yeah, Harsha. Harsha. Harsha has snuck into your bed multiple times and has just laid beside you and cuddled next to you. Roll me another D100. Uh, Alright. And she is... Now 100. She Come on. She slept with you multiple times at this point again. 90. Okay. Uh, out of character, that means she is pregnant. But anyways, uh, you care for your boar, and as you guys are stepping out onto the edge of the deck, you look out, and you see the city itself of Oregon. The beautiful city and the dragon spine behind it, as the glow of the morning sun begins to glow behind it. A new dawn, a new land, for some of you and new opportunities await you. And that is where we're going to end this session. Thank you for everyone for watching Hell this yeah. session. Thank you for everyone for coming for this 12-hour session that we did multiple sessions. I That's where it's